all changed one day when all these random cards started raining down everywhere. At first, they seemed harmless enough, so a bunch of us kids invented this cool new game. That's when we realized those cards weren't so harmless after all. They were packed with incredible powers from another world. My name is Dan, and together with my friends Uno, Marucho, Julie, not to mention Mr. Hotshot himself, Shun, and Alice, we are the, the Bakugan, Bakugan Battle Brawlers! Bakugan, one goal, two worlds! What are you gonna do? The odds are stacked against you. Back against the wall, gotta give it your all. This is the final stand. The power's in your hands. Two worlds collide on the inside. You gotta fight for what's right before it's gone. Bakugan Battle Brawlers in The Story of Destroyer. Yeah, my dad's totally stoked that you decided to stay with us. He said, we're gonna get a lot more customers with you working for us. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. I won't be the star attraction anymore. You get all the attention now. <gasps> Wait, Michael's Dan? planning to wipe out Destroyer. Hi, Runo. I haven't told anyone about my grandfather, Michael, yet. Maybe it's time. Hey, Runo, you awake? Mm. Liver kebabs. Mm. I must be doing something right. I never thought I'd get invited to a place like this. It's cause you got talent, boss! You climbed to 10th place in the rankings in just a few days! Hmm. Yeah, you're right. I deserve this. I'm looking for the party for the top 10 international Bakugan players. Is this the place? Yeah. That's good. My ranking is number two. I'm Klaus von Herzen. I'm Chan Lee. My ranking is third place. My name's Julio Santana. I'm in fourth place. And I'm... <clears throat> Combo Charlie. My ranking is fifth place. Nice to meet you. I'm Billy Gilbert. I've got the 10th place spot now. Yeah. <laughs> Double digits. What? Which means that the 1st and 6th to 9th ranked battlers aren't here yet. I guess they're running late. So what's up? When does this so-called party get started anyway? Yeah, I don't see any decorations. You're right. But according to the map on this card, we're in the right place. Listen. It's not every day that the world's top-ranked Bakugan players are in the same room together. Would any of you be interested in a little game? Okay, sure. I'm up for that. Count me in. I know you all would think I didn't have the skills if I tried to back out on you. Yeah, I'm up for battle. That sounds like fun to me. And you? I'm in. Let's do it! Yeah! Bakugan, feel over! If all five of us are in agreement, for the record, this will be an exhibition battle. No, wait, speed play. What is a speed play? Let's make it a Bakugan Royal battle since we're all in this together. Sure, I'll go along with that. I'm into it. Let's get started. Okay, here we go. Gate card set. All right, the game is on. Go, Cycloid. Let me at him, boss. Back again, brawl. 
Cycloid, stand! <laughs> Ability card, activate! Right, Giganti! Just try coming at me! I'll make you a member of my special club! <laughs> what a loud mouth! That's a good wrong! Harpus! Stand! Ventus Harpus! Ability card activate! Feather Blast! Fortress's combined talents, beauty and strength. Uh. Yeah! Chaos Tentaclear's eyes have got you! You can't move! <laughs> Perfect! I didn't expect a battle with the top ranked players to be this much fun. Huh. You sound confident, Klaus. Where's your Bakugan? Shoot it and get in the game! Well, it's already in the battle. Huh? Ability card activate! Okay now, use your singing voice on them! Allow me to introduce my beloved Aquas Serenoid. <laughs> what? <sighs> Who's there? My name is Masquerade. You're the number one ranked player. So you've heard of me before. What do you want? Have you come to join the battle? <laughs> no, but look at your feet. Huh? Huh? What is this? The floor has disappeared? Is this some kind of trick? Where are we? Hey, take us back to our world right now! I'll take you back soon enough. Humans! Huh? Uh, kneel before me, your new master. I brought you all here today for an important reason. I want you to get rid of Dan Kuso. And the Bakugan Battle Brawlers. That will be your mission. Ha! Easy! It will be an honor to take him down. Oh yeah, you want him out? No problem! Come on! When do we start? He's history! He doesn't have a chance! You said it, boss! <gasps> oh no! Look at the time! I overslept! <sighs> ah, good morning, Alice! I'm so sorry. I just couldn't get to sleep last night, and that's the reason I slept in. It's all right, dear. We're just happy to have you staying here with us. You should take it easy on your day off anyway. Oh? Um, where's Runo? At the store. She'll be back. I just sent her out to get a couple of things. At the store? Oh, I see. I finally get the courage to tell Runo about my grandfather, and she's not even here. I know, I'll go tell Dan! Oh, but... What do you mean? Huh? The old man Michael is your grandfather? Oh... Uh, no, maybe I won't tell him just yet. If you'd called ahead, Alice, I would have gladly sent a car to come pick you up, you know. What an honor. This is quite extraordinary. You're coming to visit me all by yourself. I hope that your visit has been satisfactory so far and everything is all right. Well, I... Marucho, I have something really important to tell you. Really? What's that? A confession. Something I need you to hear me say. Huh? What? You have to confess something to me? Marucho, it's you. I always thought you were... My grandfather Michael. What? You always thought I was your grandfather Michael? <laughs> oh. Alice. What'd you say? You know that missing scientist, Michael Gehabik? Well, he's my grandfather. What? <laughs> what? Really? Michael is your grandfather? Whoa! No way! 
Yes, that day. That day when the Bakugan and all the cards appeared. That was when my grandfather disappeared. Then one day about six months later... Huh? Oh! Grandfather? Grandfather! What? What's this? My grandfather saw my Bakugan card and seemed very surprised. But the strange thing is, that day when Dan met Drago, my grandfather disappeared again. And I haven't seen or heard a thing from him since. You kept that a secret from us? Hmm? Thanks for telling us, Alice. Oh man, that must have been hard. <gasps> oh, oh, I'm sorry. I thought you'd overreact. I had you all wrong. Huh? <sighs> you overreact? No! Bruno and Alice, I think you're just trying to get Dan's attention. No, Julie, that's not true. Why would we want to do that? That's so lame. Alice, have you heard anything about the collapse of Vestroya? Nothing, Drago. But if all the stories we've been hearing are true and my grandfather really did go to Vestroya, we may find something if we go to his laboratory. Unfortunately, it's in Moscow. I guess we'll have to go to his laboratory then. Sure, let's go. But didn't you listen to Alice's story? Her grandfather's lab is in Moscow. It's important we go there. Yeah, sure, that's great. Just how are we gonna do that? Leave it to me! I know a way! The Bakugan Battle Brawlers will be right back! The Bakugan Battle Brawlers are back! Battle on! Bye! I'm off to Moscow! Ma'am, please don't worry. I assure you I will take good care of your son. Thanks for the delicious fruit basket. You really didn't have to do that. And I know Dan is very excited about this trip. Huh? Fruit basket? Huh? Oh, yes. And please take care of our boy. He can be a bit of a handful. See you, Mom! See you, Dad! Warning. Warning. Main gate open. Full ignition start. Firing engine number one. Firing engine number two. Stand by for launch. I'm going to do a flyover Master Shun's dojo now. <sighs> Such a show off! Sorry there's no in flight movie, guys, but would anyone like some peanuts or a moist towelette, perhaps? Sir, we're entering Moscow airspace. Look, there's my grandfather's laboratory down there. Kato, can you put the plane down in that area? Why, of course, sir. No problem. I didn't expect it to be so clean. I was expecting it to be much dustier with cobwebs all over the place. That's because I come by every once in a while and clean. And I thought tidying up my room was tough. Well, if there are any clues as to where my grandfather is, they would be here. Okay, guys, let's split up and see what we can find. Right, let's do this. Tigrera, do you feel it? Yes, Drago, I do. Yeah, since we got here, I've been feeling really jumpy. I can't seem to shake it. I just want to jump up and down. Up You're and down, always jumpy, Freyas. Whoa, lighten up, Draggy. You're the one that brought up the weird feeling in this place. Whoa. Oopsie. Yikes, 
Not a face! My grandfather! Michael? This is Michael G. Recording this from my research lab. Extraordinary things have been happening. Hey, let me see what's going on! Oh! Hold on! Wow! For the last few years, I have been developing a dimension transporter system. This system is designed to transport something from one place to another place instantaneously. But one day, while working in my laboratory, something very unusual happened. Huh? accident occurred as I was conducting a routine experiment. Although I didn't know it at the time, I later learned that I had inadvertently opened a gate to a different world. It was to a place called Vestroia, and as unbelievable as it sounds, there were monster-like creatures living there. Uh... Oh. My name is Naga. Tell me, how does a human like you end up in my world? And there I was, face to face with the Dragonoid called Naga. It happened just like you said, Drago. <laughs> I can use this. What? What is that card? What are you going to use it for? When I came to, I was back in the human world. But to my surprise, in our world, six months had passed by. I realized there that time moves at different speeds in our world. And in the world of Vestroia, it is completely different as well. But even more surprising, the accident with the Dimension Transporter System caused the protons of the field energy to collapse. And as a result, these protons subdivided and fell to Earth as card-shaped energy bodies. During the six months that I was gone, children had taken the cards that had been scattered all over Earth and created the Bakugan game. I was alarmed when I realized that these Bakugan were the living creatures that I saw in Vestroia. These card-shaped energy bodies were absorbing the living creatures in Vestroia and then transporting them to our world. And it seems these creatures can only stay in the human world in the form of a ball, a truly ingenious transport system. It is only on the battlefield, which has the same dimensional structure as Vestroia, that they can go back to their original forms. They have crossed over. John, come on! Finish the story! Chill out! At least now we know that Alice's grandfather did go to Vestroia. So, it's all true. I'm sorry. Alice, it's not your fault. You don't need to apologize. Huh? huh? Hal, hope is lost! Huh? Grandfather? I am called Hal G. Bow down before me! Hal G? Destroyer and the human world will be destroyed by the power of the Great Naga! <laughs> what happened to him? It's the effects of Minus Power! Minus Power? When we arrived here, Drago, Preus, and I all felt the Minus Power in this place. Yeah, it makes me jumpy! Look how jumpy I am! I can't stop jumping up well, and down! Knock that minus down. power really has an effect on you guys! Do you feel it? Yes. All Bakugan that are exposed to minus power find their inner darkness grows and they become ferocious. I suppose it's the same with humans as well. Over here! Everyone look at this! I saw something on the video screen! Wait, I'll zoom in! Masquerade! Hal G and Masquerade? So they've been working together. That figures. Those creeps. Oh, my grandfather. It can't be. Hal G said he works under Naga, so Naga must control Masquerade as well. That means we must find the Infinity Core before they do, or else there will be dire consequences for both our worlds. But how? Where is it? Drago, we don't even know where to start looking for it. 
There may be a clue to its whereabouts in Bakugan Valley. Bakugan Valley? Oh, I know that place. It's near the caves by my house. You can catch a lot of Bakugan there, but there are icky bats. Lots of Bakugan? No humans have ever gone deep into those caves before. We still have to check it out. Right! Let's do it! Now, are you all with me? Uh -huh. <laughs> Luckily, it won't take long for us to get to Bakugan Valley in this. Huh. Hey, Shun, what are you doing? Let's go! That's them. That's who we're going after. Great. It'll be easy. Hmm. See you soon, Bakugan Battle Brawlers. <laughs> Coming up on Bakugan Battle Brawlers, the rest of the gang and I meet up in Bakugan Valley, and boy, oh boy, is it a strange place. We go deep inside the caves in search of the Infinity Core, but what we really need to search for is some courage. Especially when we get our first look at Destroya. I gotta admit, it's all a little bit much for me to take. But I hang in there, because I don't want to let the team down. The deeper we go, the creepier it gets. I'm just glad Dan's here to protect me. He will protect me, right? Anyway, you don't want to miss it. Battle on, Brawlers! <laughs>